Welcome to Yoga with Lynn and Leo. In this hips practice, we will be working on various poses. Lynn in the white at the front of the picture will be showing the classic poses. Leo in the pink top at the rear will be showing modified actions using props. Gomakasana cow face pose. Wrap the right leg around the left and sit back onto your heels. You can see here that Leo is using a couple of blankets to place between the heels and the buttocks to enable the balance and the lift in this pose to come. If you can hold the arms in a classic Gomakasana action, then do so. Extend the left arm up by the left ear and catch hold of the right hand. You can see Leo here is demonstrating this action using a belt. With all of these poses, we would recommend that you have a look at the individual tutorials before attempting this collection so that you get more detailed instruction on each of the poses. Release out of the pose and swap over your legs. Sit back onto your heels or onto the blankets. The feet should be facing directly back. And now, extending your right arm up, take your left hand behind your back. Catch your fingers or catch your belt. Extend the elbows away from one another. Grip in the outer hips and keep your chest lifted and open. Release the hands and release the legs. We're now coming into Baddha bound angle pose. This is sometimes also known as cobbler's pose. So sit with the soles of the feet facing towards one another. You can see here Lynn is sitting straight to the floor and that her thighs, her outer thighs, come to the floor in this action. Leo is sitting up onto four foam pads, two foam pads next to two foam pads, and has placed the feet first of all onto a brick to get the opening in the outer hip and now is placing the soles of the feet to the brick to open out in the groins. Bring the heels in as close as is comfortable. Leo is also sitting with her back to the wall to provide extra support and rolling the calf flesh from the inside out to again create more external rotation in the thigh bone. Either have the hands onto the thighs or hold on the feet if you're working in the classic action. Again, keep the chest lifted, the collarbones broad. Come out of the action, remove the brick if you're using it. We're coming now into Upavista Konasana. This is a wide angle seated forward bend. If you're working in the modified version, you'll need a couple of folded blankets and two belts. Sit with the legs out wide. If you're sitting on the blankets, sit towards the front of your blankets. Have them neatly folded. You can see here from Lynn's action that the kneecaps face the ceiling and there's a strong extension into the inner heels in this seated Upavista Konasana. The legs come as wide as it's comfortable. Make sure that the legs are straight and that the kneecaps face the ceiling. If you're working in the classic action, catch hold of the big toe on each foot. This extends you strongly forwards. If you're working in the modified version, have the belts around the balls of the feet 
So whether you're working with your toes or with your belts, you pull on your feet with your hands to get the forward extension. You can see here that Leo is only coming a little way, but that the back remains flat, the chest remains open. Leo and Lynn are showing different versions of this pose. Lynn has her forehead to the floor, but again her chest is open and her back is flat. Don't just flop into this pose and don't compromise your spine. Keep the legs strong and straight. Lift up. Bring the legs together. And sit in Dandasana before turning for a Siddhasana action. So again, Lynn is working to the floor. Leo is sitting onto four foam pads in a bench formation there. So sit with your right leg crossed in front of your left. You can see here that Lynn is taking the knees a little further apart and then tucking the toes of her right foot in between the calf and the thigh flesh of the left. To get this action, Leo first puts her foot onto a brick to encourage that opening in the outer hip. The knees release down to the floor if that's feasible. If you're working on a height and the knees are not releasing down to the floor, then just stay with your fingertips onto that height and lift through the chest, letting the inner groins release. If the knees come to the floor, then the knees can come wide. The heel lines up with the heel, lines up with the center seam of your trousers. If you're working in the modified action, keep the hands behind you. Release your feet and change legs. So you're now placing the left leg in front. And again, get this action, heel in line with heel, in line with the center seam of the trousers. You can see that Leo is encouraging the outward rotation of the hip by rotating the calf flesh out. Lynn has tucked the toes away completely between the thigh and the calf flesh. Lynn has her hands in front of her knees with the palms facing out, but the chest here is lifting and the back of the body is broad. The spine is extending upwards. Keep the breath fine and even through the nostrils. Release the legs. So we're now going to come into the Padmasana action. Padmasana, Lotus Pose, is a very challenging action and it's important that you understand the action in this pose before trying to get into it. So you can see that both Leo and Lynn have got their legs in simple cross legs with the right leg in front. Lynn just folds her feet into the opposite groins to get this Padmasana action. Leo on the height is showing you how to get the lift, the extension. First of all, by placing that left foot onto a brick and then, if it's feasible, bringing the outer left foot into the crease, the thigh crease of the right leg. So Leo is showing half Padmasana. This is an action that you should only attempt if there is no discomfort in the knees or the ankles in getting into this pose. So change the cross of the legs. So now the right leg goes, the right foot goes firstly onto the left thigh. You can see here that Leo is putting the right foot onto the brick to get that opening action. 
the left foot comes forwards. And again, if you're working in the modified version, rotate that calf outwards, support underneath the outer ankle if you're coming into the half Padmasana action and not staying in the preparational pose. So the hip has to really turn and rotate so that you're not using this pose to rotate at the ankle or the knee. Place the hands, palms face up onto your thighs, lifting the chest. Release the legs now. Sit in Sukhasana. Thank you for joining us today in our practice for the hips. Namaste.